All right, in this video, we're going to talk about reading tab and just go through the things that you need to know to start reading guitar tablature and a warm up exercise that you can start playing every time you pick up your guitar to develop some up and down picking skills and some good technique with your left hand and your right hand here. So let's get into it. First, we're going to check out this uh, tab reading exercise that I have. Let me share my screen. All right, so you see here, I've got a neck diagram, which you've seen already, and then this is tab. This is guitar tablature. Most people just call it tab. And basically what it gives you is all six of your strings, and then the numbers on it correspond to which fret you would press down. It doesn't tell you which finger to press down on which fret, so that's when playing scales and things like that really comes into place. So, let's get into it. You can see here, this is your open string, right? Here's one, three. Open, one, three. Open, two, three. Zero, two, three, right? Zero, two, zero, two, three. Open, two, and so on. All right, so I think that picture kind of describes pretty well how to read tab, but let me just play through this exercise for you real quick. Turn on the app here. So you see it's open one three, right? That's just the first string. That's the bottom line here. And I played the frets. Open one three. Okay, so the way I would practice playing this exercise in the beginning is play each string up and down and then move on to the next string. So you go open, one, three, three, one, open. And then the next string you can see on here, open, two, three, right? Open, two, three, three, two, open, and so on. So once you have that down, uh, go ahead and play that whole the little piece of tab there, it's just like four bars, um, all together like this. Open two, three, open two, three, open two, open one, three, open one, three. Then go ahead and do it backwards. Three, one, open three. So that's how that reads. There's a nice little picture of the neck of your guitar and then what it looks like on tab right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Next thing we'll jump over to is this warm-up exercise. Okay, so I call this exercise eight on a string, four on a finger. And you'll see why here in a minute. Basically, just how many notes are playing on each string. Um, so again, with tab, the bottom string is your lowest E string, right? So it goes like this. It goes E. This string here, oh, it won't let me highlight just that string. E is this bottom string here, if you can see my mouse there. And then A would be this bar, right? That's the A string. Here's the D string. G right here, if I can highlight that. There we go. That's sort of what I'm trying to do. G string right here, and then the B over here. There we go. There's the big mouse. And then the E string, right? So it goes low to high. And it's E, A, D, G, B, E. And then the numbers just tell you, once again, which fret you're playing. So let's look at this eight on a string, four on a finger. You can see here that I have written in the counts one and two and three and four and. And then over here I wrote in the plucking pattern, which is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's really important that you start out from the very beginning plucking down and up because that that's just that's how you play fast. I mean, in general, if you're just trying to pick down, you can only go so fast. So if you start learning that from the beginning and then you don't have to think it think about it so much later on down the line, it'll really serve you a lot better than what a lot of folks will do, which is just pluck down all the time when they're first learning guitar. So let's go through this warm up exercise. So we have 
Um, one and two and three and four and, right? So this one is the eight on a string because you're playing eight notes on each string. And the main thing for this is just picking down and up. So I'll go ahead and run through the rest of this exercise. Then it's going to go one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. And 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 four. Yeah. Excuse me. So um, I would strongly recommend you count out loud while you play, especially in the very beginning. Let's go through this next exercise now. So this one's called four on a finger. And you can see I have the counts and the plucking pattern written in for this one too. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. And this is four on a finger because you're going to play four notes on each finger and you're going to go through all of your strings. So remember, the lowest string in the tab is the lowest string on your guitar and it starts out one, two, three, four. And then you see we add our first finger on the first fret. One, two, three, four. Second finger. One, two, three, four. And then third finger. Two, three, four. And fourth finger. Two, three, four, and then for the last two bars you go four, three, two, one, open. Okay, so you're going to do that on each string now, and that's why it's called four on a finger. All right, here we go. So I'll do maybe just the next string so you can hear what it sounds like all together. I'm going to go ahead and count out loud. You should be doing that as well, and then that should get you started on this warm-up. Do this every day when you pick up your guitar, and it'll really help you develop coordination between your picking hand and your fingering hand, as well as making sure you're picking down and up. And a uh, little tip with picking, I think we talked about this in an earlier video, but your motion is, it's almost like turning a doorknob, right? You don't want to be like this, it's more like this, okay? A little forearm movement in there is fine. And you want to keep things, you don't want to have tension. You want to stay nice and relaxed, don't be tense. Uh, we can talk about that more in another video. Let's go ahead and move on to the next string. I'll play this one all together so you can hear what it should sound like. So this is the A string. Now it's going to be the second string up from the bottom in your tab. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll slow it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, so you're going to do that on each string. A couple other things to remember. Um, I started out a little quick there. Most people have a tendency to do that. You really want to start slow with every new skill that you learn because speed comes from accuracy. It's much, much, much better to play something slowly and accurately than it is to play it fast and just kind of fumble your way through it. Another thing to keep in mind here is you want to keep your fingers pretty close to the fretboard, like almost as close as you can to the fretboard when you're playing this. So I'll go through the next one and just look how close my fingers are to the fretboard as I play this. So you got... you can see none of my fingers are flying way out here like this. this that's a really common thing when you're first starting to play guitar uh, because it might help you feel like you have more leverage but you'll notice even when I'm going to the next fret I actually leave the one before it the finger before as I move up down and then all four of my fingers are down when I do the four three two one open I just lift them one at a time and they're still really close to the fretboard the closer your fingers are to the fretboard, the quicker your finger can get to the note that you need to play. So, I think that about does it for this warm-up exercise. Like I said, 
um, if you play through this every day, start getting your down and up, picking down, you're counting in, you're playing on the edge of your fingers like we talked about in the getting ready to play video, and you're really focusing on technique with this stuff, you'll start to develop that coordination, and it will make everything that you play from this point forward a lot easier to manage. So, happy plucking, see you in the next video.